Good morning all, my name's Helena Holrick, this is your shiny shop and today's call, push, prod, nudge to have a better day is simply this. Um, I'm going to pop you down on this chair and see if we can actually do this one. There we go. Um, it was very bright a moment ago but I think we can actually do it. Today's call is this, be an easy person to know and um, in the light of a uh, very dear friend's funeral yesterday and the amazing send-off that we did for her, um, it was really obvious that the degree to which you allow yourself to be loved, seen and heard really does make an impact on the quality of your life, the quality of the people that actually do come in. And I was thinking, as you do in these situations, which is really important, about the, the impact of and the difference that is made when we are easy to know, when we extend ourselves, when we allow ourselves to connect with another human. And what that actually means and the ripple that that actually creates. So being an easy person to know um, can be as simple as you smiling even if you're shy or saying hello and seeing what shows up and staying open or simply having the mentality of staying open to what is possible in this meeting, whether it's meeting someone that you have met before, whether it's actually staying open to someone new. So for example, on Friday, I'm due to go to an entirely new networking thing. I don't know anybody there. but. What if, what if I choose to be an easy person to know? Now, I, I, I actually am, I'm fairly open, I'm fairly transparent, and uh, I do my best to be polite and nice, but also, more than anything, curious. And one of the best ways to, to be an easy person to know, because I was thinking about Karen. Karen is um, really my work sister, and looking at the impact and the, the people that she had gathered to her who came together to celebrate her life, um, she was an easy person to know at a level, and that's enough. Um, once you got beyond that, you know, all of us have uh, our picket fences. All of us have the boundaries around what you are allowed to know at the level at which you're at in terms of the friendship or the acquaintanceship that you're creating. But... And all of us have that kind of line, and some of us have it way out here, and some of us have it sort of built in here. But when you are an easy person to know, that's about you opening up the picket fence, standing outside it and going, okay, I'm really curious about what I can, who I can meet, what I can see, what I can learn from being out here and simply saying hello. So being an easy person to know requires of you only one thing, really. That's a curiosity, that's the what if question, that's the invitation um, of communication that allows you to connect with another human. Because once you open that up, you always have a choice to go, hmm, not quite right for me, in a sort of Goldilocksy sort of type manner, or, ooh, too intimate for me, or, whoa, can't get in, sort of. Um, gauge and that's really what people you know sort of we are all people who are bumping into each other wanting to get to know each other because we are driven by connection whether we like it or not uh, you know we are an interconnected species who interact with each other in this way so the easier you make it to know you the easier it is for you to make the impact that you would like to make or have the kinds of conversations you would like to have in some way. So I think you get the idea here. Be an easy person to know is about you really accessing the part of you that goes, how can I connect more? How will I, what, how will I grow more? What will I do more? And all of that is wrapped up in one simple quality, curiosity. So today, I really invite you to employ your curiosity to, to really have a think about, am I easy to get to know? And what would it take for me to open a little bit more to that? Or indeed, what would it take for me, if I am easy to get to know, to be the one that is curious enough to open another? So, 
That is my shiny shelf for you. Many blessings to you in your day and I will catch you tomorrow.